Welcome to day two at our Lake Street project. Yesterday we found this gigantic stump. I was gonna rent a stump grinder. Couldn't find anyone that had one, so we're kicking it old school. Shovels, bought an ax and an ax grinder. We'll try to use the machine to wiggle it loose once we get the roots dug out. Fun way to start the day, but we got stone delivered. We can start on the patio. We can start on some things for the deck. We're gonna get back on track today. Well, we got most of the stump out. We got a good portion of it out at least. It took us like an hour. We're all sweating to death. It's like 100 degrees out, but it's out of the way of our walkway now. It's still a little bit in this landscape bed, but we're gonna cut that out later when it's a little bit cooler out. We're good to go for now. I've marked out the outer dimensions of our patio. We will recheck all of our excavations because we kind of disturbed it getting around this stump, but we're getting back at it. It's super hot. We're gonna get this three quarter clean stone in here, start that base, and pavers are coming tomorrow. Teco block, zero cut patio. Anyway, we're back on track. Patio's dug out. Now, the issue that we're having is we've got some really soft soils here. So, what we like to do in that scenario is put down a small layer of three quarter clean. Otherwise, the compactor is just gonna sink into the soil. So, this helps stabilize it a little bit. We can run the compactor over this thin layer and then we can check for soft spots and we'll keep adding three quarter clean until that area is stabilized. And then we'll geogrid everything. We'll get our base up to the height that we need, but you can keep digging this out for as long as you want. You can go down a foot, two feet sometimes, and it's still gonna be soft. So I've found this to be the best way to get it stabilized and keep your base rolling. So I get a call from the township yesterday. We can't inspect your footings until Friday. Throw off our whole game plan, switched everything up to still make this happen in seven days. Then I get a call today around 11. Hey, we actually can come inspect your footings today. So I have to call the concrete. Concrete truck is back on the schedule. We're back on track. It's been kind of crazy, but I think we can do this in seven days. The whole team, the, the spirits are flying high. Everybody believes in it wholeheartedly that we can get this done in seven days. Everybody's got supreme faith in their leader and uh, we're gonna do this seven days. Let's go. So apparently we're supposed to get an inspection today. Uh, I still don't think we're gonna finish in seven days. It's probably like 100 degrees outside. People are dropping like flies. It's a bloodbath. I always get a lot of questions about how we do these footings because we don't use any posts to level the beam. So all we do, this row of footings needs to be eight feet from the house. We're getting it level. Now we'll backfill it. So that's pretty much it. You'll fill up the rest of the hole. It's level where it's at. You'll do that to all the footings. Now that we have all the tubes set, what we do is take out our zip level. We zero it off of the threshold of the door. That's our zero point. We have it figured out so that the top of the footing, we have two steps coming out of the house decking, joist, beam, bottom plate. That's the height of our footing. It's 28 and three quarters down from that door. So then we measure this. We have 21 and a quarter. We need seven and a half. He's gonna write seven and a half on there. We'll measure down, we'll make a couple marks on it. We'll cut it. They'll all be at the right height. Good to go. Guys, concrete's here. Oh, hey, there you are. Um, we gotta get the concrete in the holes. It's getting late. We got the tubes cut. Let's get this concrete going. All right. these footings you want kind of a little bit of a drier mix not super wet you're gonna weaken it so work it a little bit like that there it is just like that then we'll measure out from the house snap a line and we will pop these anchor bolts in there to connect our beam connectors to tomorrow 
Well, that's it for today, folks. We got the footings wrapped up. Concrete is in. It will be curing tonight. So tomorrow, we can start framing this bad boy. We also have the Teco Block pavers coming tomorrow, which is going to be sweet. This thing, I think, is back on schedule. Seven days. It's going to be it's going to be tough, but I think we can do it. So stay tuned for tomorrow's vlog, framing out this deck. Till then, this is Premier Outdoor Living.